Welcome back everyone. In this video, I will discuss about auto dispose modifier in Riverpod. Now here in main.dart file, the root of our app that is my app is wrapped inside provider scope. Now to do the routing here, I have used go router plugin. Now if you don't know about go router, then you can refer to my playlist. The link you can find in the description of this video. Here I have created two routes. This is the first one that is for path slash the home view should open and for path slash counter the counter page should open whenever i will launch the app initially the root the path is slash so home page should open if i move to home then here in the body you can see i have taken a center widget and as a child of center i have taken an elevated button and the text of the elevated button is counter whenever i will hit on this button then I should move to the counter path. This means actually the counter page should open. If I go to counter dot dot, then here simply I have taken a text widget having the value as zero and there is a floating action button. Now let me show you the output. Here you can see the home widget is there. Sorry, the home view is there, which is having a counter button. Whenever I will click here, then I am moving to the counter page this is having a text widget having the initial value as zero and there is a floating action button now what i want is that whenever i will click on this floating action button its value should increment by one this means initially it is zero whenever i will hit it hit the floating action button then the value should be one two three and so on and to do that here in the lib folder i have created a file counter demo dot dot if i move to that file then you can see i have created a class here counter demo which is extending state notifier and here I have created a function increment which will increment the value of state by one and the initial value of state is zero. Now let me move to counter dot dot and here I need to write the code. Here what I will do, I will create final counter provider is equals to, I need to use state notifier provider and here I will use counter demo and the type that is int and here I need to use ref and here I will return counter demo. Okay. Now inside the build method, what I will do, I will declare a variable having the name as counter and here I need to use ref.watch and then I will specify the name of the provider that is counter provider, correct. Now in this text widget. I will display the value of this counter. So instead of zero here, I will write counter, correct. And in this floating action button, whenever I will click here, then I need to increment the value of state by one. And for that, we need to call the increment function, which I have created inside the counter demo. And to do that inside this on pressed, I need to write ref dot read. After that, the name of the provider that is counter provider and dot notifier. Then I need to call the increment method. Let me save up to this. Now let me show you the output. If I click here, then I, then I am moving to the counter page. Now if I am clicking here, then the value is incrementing. Now let me click here and let me again click on this counter, then you can see that the state is preserved, correct. If I click here once again, then the value is 15. Let me move back. If I click here again, then you can see that the state is preserved. Now, if you don't want to preserve the state, then we need to use the auto dispose modifier. So auto dispose destroys the state of the provider when it is no longer used. There are multiple reasons for doing so such as when using Firebase to close the connection and avoid unnecessary cost. To reset the state when the user leaves a screen and re-enters it. So what I will do here is that 
state notifier provider dot we simply need to call the auto dispose modifier now let me save this once again or let me do a hot restart okay now if i am clicking here once again now let me increment the value let me go back let me click here once again now see that the state is not preserved it is started with zero correct so that is the functionality of the auto dispose modifier now suppose i am using auto dispose but i don't want to but still i want to preserve the state at that time we need to use keep alive now as per the note you can see the keep alive function is used to tell river pod that the state of the provider should be preserved even if no longer listened to so even if you are calling the auto dispose but still you want to preserve the state then here we need to call ref dot keep alive now let me do a hot restart once again now let me click here let me increment the value let me go back if i click here once again then you can see still i still i am using auto dispose but the state is preserved why due to this ref dot keep alive correct now we can also implement timeout based catching strategy to dispose the provider states after a given duration actually whenever i am using this uh, ref dot keep alive then the state will be preserved for indefinite period of time but if you want that the state will be preserved for a particular time duration then we need to use another approach how to do that let me show you here what i will do i will create a variable final link let me comment this final link equals to ref dot keep alive and here i will declare a variable timer equals to timer of duration in duration let me specify the time as 10 second and here i will write link dot close let me use const here okay so this specifies that the state will be preserved for a duration of 10 second after that the state will be lost and here i need to cancel this timer and to cancel the timer here i will use ref dot on dispose whenever the on dispose method will be called at that time we need to cancel the timer and to do that here i will use timer dot cancel fine now let me do a hot restart once again now if i click here then you can see the value is incremented if i go back if i click here then the state is preserved now let me wait for 10 second after waiting for 10 second if i again move to this page then you will see that the value is not preserved because here i have written the code that the state will be preserved for a duration of 10 second only okay now let me go back now if i click here once again then you can see that the state is not preserved this is how we can implement the time based catching with the help of this ref dot keep alive method okay so this is all about auto dispose modifier don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching